Hey guys, Tom Mobile back again. If you're new here, this is my day five of owning the Pixel 7. I will walk you through what a normal day like is for me using this phone and I'll let you know how the phone hold up. If you are a current subscriber, welcome back and thanks for joining me on this journey. If you watched my first four days with the Pixel 7, I would say the battery life has been terrible, barely lasting about seven and a half hours or so throughout the day before needing to be charged again. But stay tuned, we do have some light at the end of the tunnel, so stay until the end of the video to see how day five goes. But I promise it does get better. Day five, woke up at 6.51. Today, make sure I'm at 100%. A little tired and groggy, but today is gonna be a great day. Got ready for my day, watched some NBA highlights from the night before as I'm brushing my teeth. All right, left the house a little bit later today. Was staying up late last night editing the E2 video. It is cold AF. Like it's 35 degrees. Got my apple a day. As I make my way for my morning walk. Winter is coming, kids. Hold this F outside. Got my gloves on. Quick video, not bad. Zoom in my face a little bit more. It's me zooming out. Put this on pause as I cross the street so I don't get hit by a car. Made my way over to the park. So cold that there's frost on the ground. Little river. Video looking decent with plenty of lights. Thought I was going crazy for a second because I have gloves on. I'm able to unlock the phone. But I remember I do have face unlock enabled as well. The battery's actually looking pretty promising today. 96%, been awake for about 45 minutes. Usually, after an hour, I'm already down at like 10% or so. At around 7.39 a.m. while I'm doing my morning walk, I decided to do some fantasy basketball research. I am in a fantasy league, so I gotta stay on top of my game. At about 8.21 a.m., roughly two and a half hours since I have been awake, battery did drop down to 82%. So far, that averaged to about 7% or so. Battery drop an hour, which is an improvement, I guess. Initially, during my first four days, it was averaging about 13% drop an hour. And apparently with adaptive charging, people are saying that it takes a week or so before the phone recognizes your habit and it will slowly improve. I'm not convinced yet, but we'll see how the rest of the day goes. All right, been awake for about three hours. Already at 66% battery. Day five. Still low-key trash. I did go for a quick drive and plop it on the wireless charger. That probably boosted up by like a percent or two. It was connected to Bluetooth for music. Other than that, still not looking good. If you are calling with a COVID-related question or for general information such as directions, hours, or fax number, please press one. To request an insurance referral for press Here's a demonstration of me attempting to use call assistant. I'm not sure if there's something I need to activate or do, but I was under the impression that you did not need to listen to the whole menu when you're calling someone like a doctor or something like that. Instead of having to listen to the menu, I assume there would be some 
text on the screen that you can press and bypass all that. I don't know, maybe my memory are fuzzy and this feature is coming in the future. But either way, I still had to listen to all the prompt and press the correct number so that I can be directed to the correct place. Luckily, it wasn't a lot of numbers to press, but still, I was hoping to test the feature. Whoever is able to get it to work, please let me know. Pretty sure I can look it up, but kind of lazy at this point. Some things should just work as advertised without maybe having to do extra research, but that's neither here nor there. At 60% battery. See how the rest of the day goes so far. I just went running, been having podcasts, YouTube, and music playing in the background the whole time. So here I am watching YouTube as I'm doing the dishes at 1:06 p.m. By 1:49, I'm at 31% battery, so roughly seven hours awake, close to 10% drop each hour. By 2.05, it is at 28%. I was super tired today, so decided to take a power nap. Set alarm for 10 minutes. Done. Your alarm set for 2.15 p.m. All right, guys, going on to nine hours at 14%, which is pretty solid. Still have YouTube playing in the background as I'm working. And going up and down the stairs, eating, washing the dishes. I guess it technically is getting better, but I'll monitor again tomorrow. Another battery update at 4.36 p.m. I'm currently at 8%. And here is just a summary of my day so far. Looks like during the first couple hours, podcast was using most of the battery during my morning walk. And once I got back to my desk, more podcasting while I am working from home. Around 10 a.m. or so, I did switch over to YouTube for the next hour and a half or so. And by lunchtime, I did sneak in some Pokemon trading card game. Got in like a 15 minute gaming session there during my break. Even though it is a weekday, I'm not completely ignoring my phone it is pretty much active throughout the day i'm not touching my phone and scrolling the whole time but there's always media play in the background and it is always in use phone is actually going strong today it is 5 30 p.m i woke up at about 6 50. we're approaching 11 hours still hanging on for dear life at three percent not bad not bad, 11 hours. I mean, it is a weekday. It did last a whole work day. From nine to five, even though I've been awake since 6.50, it looks like the phone has been adjusting and is improving by day five. Although day one, I was recording and I went about the whole time. So by 6.05, it is down to 1%. I'll declare time of death roughly 6, 10 p.m. or so. 11 hours. I am actually quite impressed. Maybe the bar was set so low with the seven and a half battery life during the initial four days. I was not expecting it to last this long. And even how today began, it was a pretty big drop in the beginning. So I was surprised how well it did held up towards the end of the day. By 7 p.m., so I plugged it back in and charged it for about 49 minutes or so. Got the battery up to 69%. And that pretty much wraps up day five for me. Thank you guys, whoever made it this far. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover. Feel free to update me on your Pixel 7 or 7 Pro. See what your battery life has been like. Has it been improving after the initial four days or is it getting worse? My thoughts so far is to not panic. I know like during the first few days I did see it drop so much in the beginning that I quickly just plug it back in to charge it up to 100% again. But I did notice that by day five as I kind of let just let things play out on its own, it does improve throughout the day, which is a pleasant surprise. But yeah, things are looking good on day five. If you guys haven't already, please check out my video from day four. I will be posting day six once it is available. Appreciate all the support and see you guys soon.